everyone welcome back to the second part of the litter discussion in our last episode we discussed about what litter is who makes it and why it is an issue in this episode we are going to focus on ways of managing waste so let's get learning we know it's impossible not to produce rubbish in our everyday lives almost every single day we buy stuff that is packaged and that is where the most rubbish is produced. For example, when you buy Vitbix, which inside is already in a plastic, put in a box, and yet again, you request for a plastic bag to carry your Vitbix home. Do you know how much rubbish you have created just by buying a box of Vitbix? Therefore, we need to start considering what we truly need when buying stuff. I can assure you that if you only buy stuff that we need and stick to the four R's, we can manage waste better. The four R's all day is talking about are refuse, reduce, reuse, and recycle. There are more others, but these four are the most common ones. So what does it mean to refuse? Refusing means not willing to accept something because it's not necessary. For example, refusing a plastic bag at the till to carry a box of big bits like the example Odi gave us earlier. Reducing means to make less or lower the amount of rubbish you produce. For example, instead of creating so much rubbish by buying each and every one of these small food drinks, you can just buy this one liter bottle and they all share. So what about reusing and recycling? To reuse means using something more than once without changing the original shape of it. For example, when you buy yourself juice, after you are done, instead of throwing away the bottle, you can use it again as a water bottle. To recycle means to change something into something usable. For example, collecting all your old newspapers and turn them into fireballs. So where do you think the rubbish you and I make ends up. The rubbish we produce ends up at landfills. Landfills are large dumping sites where waste first gets sorted and the ones that cannot be recycled gets buried in the sand. This means that the more rubbish we produce, the more rubbish gets buried. And soon, more land will be covered in trash. Guys, this is bad and it will only get waste. This week we took some time to visit the Cooperberg landfill site and I must warn you guys that we need to change our attitudes and do better. Welcome, my name is Elifas, I'm from City of Wentuk, I'm the engineer at the Treatment Disposal and Technical Support Section. Here at Cooperberg we receive about um, 8,000 tons per month of general waste, that includes now plastics, papers, bottles and so on. Kufeberg um, is, has limited airspace, which means we must conserve and, and, and save the airspace for, for future dumping and so on. And it will cost us around 150 million if we are to expand Kufeberg just to create or to have another landfill site for the city of Wentuk. So therefore, let's refuse, reuse, reduce and recycle. So here are some of the ways to minimize waste and to avoid littering. If there are no rubbish bins around you, make use of your pocket or your handbag until you get to a place where there are dustbins. Always have a rubbish bag in your car to avoid throwing stuff out of the car windows. Avoid using single-use plastic bags and try your best to always use a shopping bag. If you find yourself with waste, please dispose it of safely. Do not throw it around. I encourage schools and the community at large to have recycling bins. And most importantly, participate in community cleanup campaigns. There is one coming up very soon and we'll keep you posted. It would be nice if all of you can take part wherever you find yourself in the world. We hope this episode was insightful, encouraging, and eye-opening. And we hope you learned something out of it. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.